to another big story of the day, which is in what could spell trouble for beleaguered businessman Mehul Choksi. India's Central Bureau of Investigation of the CBI has claimed that it will move an extradition request. The decision follows a confirmation from Antiguan authorities that Choksi, the alleged mastermind of the $2 billion scam, is in their country. The officials confirmed that Choksi had taken the citizenship of Antigua in November last year and uh, had uh, taken the oath of allegiance on January 15 this year. All right, for more on this, I'm joined by Vion correspondent uh, Sidhan Sibyl. Uh, Sidhan, uh, for the benefit of our viewers, could you please break it down for us? How exactly does this uh, spell trouble for, uh, uh, for uh, Choksi and uh, the steps that the Indian government is taking to expedite the extradition process? Well, definitely it's trouble for uh, Mehul Choksi, but there's good news and bad news. The good news, of course, that the CBI has got official confirmation that the man is in that island, in the Caribbean island. But the bad news is how long will it take to get Choksi uh, back? Uh, our sources in MEA has confirmed that as soon as uh, the MEA received information of his likely presence, uh, the Indian High Commissioner uh, alerted the government there in written and in a verbal form to make sure that he is detained. And he has been uh, since then trying to meet with the officials there and tell all the inputs to people here in New Delhi. Uh, but the uh, but uh, Mehul Choksi, Choksi has approached uh, the courts there, the high court uh, there, uh, that he should not be extradited. Well, Choksi is saying why he has taken citizenship is primarily because he wants to expand his uh, business. But what's the what's the basic intent is that once he gets the citizenship of that country, he gets uh, visa free tra visa free travel to 132 countries. That of course uh, is a uh, really good news for a fugitive who has uh, sought refuge in the country. So quite complex dynamics are at play. And today, uh, the Indian Minister of Information Technology, uh, Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad, also spoke saying that there is a connection uh, between Choksi and the Congress because uh, remember this uh, this entire fraud started in the year 2011 and was detected only uh, uh, last year on 14th of Feb. This is one of the biggest scams the Indian banking industry has seen. And the question now remains, how will India get back Chokshi along with his uh, nephew, Mr. Nirav Modi, whose location is still to be decided? In the, the, the CBI has approached UK authorities and UK authorities have confirmed that he was there, but now right. he's not there in UK.